وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today I'm going to be starting a topic الأمن من مكر الله to feel safe and secure from the punishment of Allah سبحانه وتعالى I want to start by saying my beloved brothers and sisters it is obligatory on each and every one of us to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to have hope of Him. Every slave, male or female, must travel on this earth and tread on this earth with hope and fear. Hope and fear is like kajana ta'ira. It is like the two wings of a bird. The bird cannot fly with one wing. It requires two wings to fly. Each wing represents something. The first wing represents hope. And the second wing represents fear. And if you have one and you don't have the other, you will not be able to fly. You will not be able to fly to Jannah. You will not be able to get to your destination, your ultimate destination you're trying to reach which is the pleasure of your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to fear Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way He deserves to be feared. We have hope of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He praised the believers for having this quality, fear and hope. Allah says in the Quran, أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ وَيَرْجُوا رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ قل هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون إنما يتذكر أولو الألباب الله سبحانه وتعالى he mentions in this verse أمن هو قانت آلاء الآناء الليل ساجدا the one who spends the entire night prostrating to Allah سبحانه وتعالى he spends the whole entire night in sujud he spends the whole entire night standing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is scared of the hereafter. He is also hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's combined between the two. Fear of what's going to probably take the day of judgment. He's scared of it. يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةِ وَيَرْجُوا رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ And that person also hopes. He also hopes for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he mentions... He says, قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ Are they equal, the ones who know and the ones who don't know? Ponder here, the ones who know are the ones who stood up at night and they prayed. And they prostrated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they stood up for their Lord, scared of the hereafter. And hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're the ones who know. And the ones who don't know are the ones who didn't wake up at night and did not pray. They do not prostrate to their Lord. They do not stand up for their Lord. They do not become scared of the affairs of the hereafter. They did not hope for the mercy of their Lord. They're the ones who don't know. Are those two types of people equal? The answer is clear, no, they are not. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after that, إِنَّمَا يَتَذَكَّرُوا أُولُوا الْأَلْبَابِ The ones who take heed are the wise ones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in another ayah تَتَجَعْفَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions that these believers they get up from their beds they leave their beds the comfort they leave their partners uh, they walk away from all of that and they go up and they stand up and they pray to their Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala They worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala Their bodies want the bed They desire the bed 
but they choose, they make this decision in their minds to leave their beds. What do they do? يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ They call and they supplicate to their Lord. And when they do it, they do it with what? خَوْفًا They are scared. وَطَمَعًا And they have hope. وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And whatever Allah has given them subhanahu wa ta'ala from their wealth, they choose to give it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these people, their quality is what? They are ones who worship Allah في دجى الليل at night time when others choose not to. When others choose to relax and they choose comfort and they choose to treat their body, these ones, they can't sleep. They are consistently remembering the day of judgment. That's on their mind. They are terrified, they are scared and they are also hoping for Allah. So they wake up and they stand up and they pray. And when they are praying, their prayer is with hope and it's also with fear. And when they wake up in the morning, they go and they give their wealth out for the sake of Allah. وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And they give from where the wealth that Allah has given them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give from that wealth. They are not stingy. The world is not too deeply rooted in their hearts where they hold back. No, they choose to give. وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he also says, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ يَحْيَى وَأَصْلَحْنَا لَهُ زَوْجَهُ إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا وَكَانُوا لَنَا خَاشِعِينَ Allah mentioned a few number of prophets. He spoke about them. And when he spoke about them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ These prophets, they used to hasten to the good. They would rush to the good. They wouldn't stay back. If anything good came up, they would run to it. Allah then says, وَيَدْعُونَنَا And they supplicate to us. They call on to us. وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا And they do it with fear and hope. They combine between fear and hope. وَكَانُوا لَنَا خَاشِعِينَ And they are humble slaves of ours. They have a characteristics of khushu' Humility and humbleness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give from their wealth. They pray at night. They hasten to good. They supplicate to their Lord. All of those good deeds that I mentioned, they do it with fear and hope. They do it with fear and hope. That is what is required from us, my beloved brothers and sisters. Many of us were either extremely scared and frightened and we don't come with what we were told to come with due to our fear. Or we are excessively full of hope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we're very يعني, deeply rooted with hope that everything's going to be the way we want and hope it overcomes us. And we leave off that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us. The quality of the believer is not that there's excessive hope or excessive fear. It should be a combination of the two. There should be fear and there should be hope. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the angels, the malaika, and I want you to understand the angels are a creation who don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are consistently obeying Him. They are doing exactly what they are told to do. It's the angels are an obedient creation of Allah. Allah mentioned them in the Quran, لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون. They do not disobey Allah. The, um, the angels, they do not disobey Allah. And they do exactly what they are told to do. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون and they do ما يؤمرون that which they are commanded. In another ayah, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He says about the angels, يسبحون الليل والنهار لا يفطرون. The angels, they exalt and they praise and they glorify Allah day and night. And they never give up. With that being said, those angels that are like that, what did Allah say about them? يَخَافُونَ رَبَّهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, they are scared of their Lord, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. They are scared of Him. They're terrified. 
and they do what he tells them to do. Now, please ponder with me, my beloved brothers and sisters. The quality that is mentioned here is that يَخَافُونَ رَبَّهُمْ They are scared of their Lord, Allah Azza wa Jalla. The angels, this is the malaika being spoken about here. If the angels are like that, who actually are doing everything Allah told them to do, and they are upholding and steadfast upon the good, if they are scared of Allah, they are terrified, then what should our situation be? We're disobeying Allah day and night. We're wronging the creation day and night. We have to be consistently be scared. We have to always be worried. Where are we going to head? Where are we going? Are we, are we going to be forgiven? Is Allah going to bestow His mercy onto us? يَخَافُونَ رَبَّهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ The second part of the ayah that really moves a person's heart is وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ It's not just a fear that's just there by itself with no actions. No, they do what they are told to do. They've combined between fear and coming with righteous action. They are scared, but they are also working hard. It's not praiseworthy to just be scared. What is praiseworthy is you're scared and you're exerting the effort. Allah wa ta'ala, He said about the mu'minun, the believers, the true believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the believers and write us amongst the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said about the believers, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ The believers are nothing. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ The believers are nothing except this. إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ When Allah is mentioned, وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts move. Their hearts shakes. That's what happens to them. Yani their hearts tremble. The quality of the believer is when Allah is mentioned, the heart of the believer is terrified and scared. This is a noble characteristics of a mu'min. And when Allah is mentioned, وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts move. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ When the verses of Allah are recited unto them, Zadatum imana it increases their iman. It makes them righteous. It increases their iman when the verses of Allah are recited. Yani the Quran increases their iman. If you know that the Quran is the thing that increases your iman, what should you do? The thing that you need to do is you should always run to it. You should also always see it as a source, that thing that you go to. When you're feeling pain, and you're feeling suffering, and you're feeling lonely, and you're feeling anxieties and depression, the one thing that you run to is what? The Book of Allah. Many of us are looking for other things. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلِيهِمْ آيَاتُهُ When the verse of Allah is read unto them, زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانَا Increases their iman. وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And they rely on their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have... Iman of Allah, tawakkul in Allah. There's no one else they have. Let's ponder over this verse. The ayah is saying, innama is what's being used here. And innama is min adawat al hasr, which basically means this is the true quality of the believers. The true quality of the believers is that the mentioning of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, is something that has a direct effect on their hearts. There's a relationship between the religion and their heart. It's not artificial, so it's just outside. They, when it's Allah is mentioned, it goes to the heart straight away. They have good heart like that. So when Allah is mentioned, their hearts become heavy, heavy. And what happens after that? وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ When the verse of Allah is then recited on them, زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا It increases their iman. And the quality that they also have is وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ There's a second hasr that's mentioned here, which is وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ It's جَارًا لَمَجْرُور The context normally would have been يَتَوَكَّلُونَ عَلَىٰ اللَّهِ وَيَتَوَكَّلُونَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ But here it became وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And this shows 
للتقديم and للتأخير هي it shows again حصر there is no one else they rely on they only rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says إن الذين هم من خشية ربهم مشفقون والذين هم بآيات ربهم يؤمنون والذين هم بربهم لا يشركون والذين يؤتون ما آتوا وقلوبهم وجلة أنهم إلى ربهم راجعون أولئك يسارعون في الخيرات وهم لها سابقون الله تبارك وتعالى هي سيز إن الذين دوانز هم من خشية ربهم مشفقون These are people who are scared They are terrified They come with the characteristics of خشية um, They are worried They're always consistently worried of that day when they're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they're not just worried and they're sitting, sitting around and doing nothing. What they do is, What they do is they, their fear of Allah leads them to what? To believe in the verses of Allah. They believe the verses of Allah with unwavering conviction that that's where the salvation and prosperity is. So that's where they run to. You see, subhanallah, this one and the ayah before إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون The concept of the Qur'an is being mentioned. Both verses. These people, they run back to the Qur'an. They go to the speech of their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they believe in it. They believe in it and they recite it. والذين هم بربهم لا يشركون And the other quality that these people have who are scared is that they don't associate partners with Allah. They stay away from shirk and whatever would lead to shirk. They stay away from the ta'weez and the tama'im. They stay away from these superstitious things that people are setting for themselves that you've inherited from your culture, which is a means to major shirk. They stay away from showing off. They cleanse their heart from all of that. They stay away from swearing by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is shirk. They stay away from grave worshipping. They stay away from calling on to the awliya. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ لَا يُشْرِكُونَ They don't associate partners with Allah. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا آتَوْ وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةً أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ They are the ones who come with what they come with. وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةً And their hearts are trembling. Their hearts are shaken. وَجِلَةٌ أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ they fully are aware of that they are going to return back to their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know they're going to be accounted one day. They're going to be judged for everything that they said. They know that they're going to be judged for what they did to the creation. And they're consistently asking the people for forgiveness. They're begging the people for forgiveness. They know that they are a slave of Allah. Their statements are يعني, right or wrong. They are scared. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا آتَوْا وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةٌ أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ Allah says about them, أُولَٰئِكَ Those who were spoken about, those who have those qualities. What are those qualities? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ They are scared of Allah. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ يُؤْمِنُونَ They believe in the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ لَا يُشْرِكُونَ They don't associate partners with Allah. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا آتَوَ وَقُلُوبُهُ وَجِلَةٌ أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ Those who come with the good deeds that they come with and their hearts are trembling and they know that they're going to return back to Allah. Those people here, أُولَٰئِكَ يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَهُمْ لَهَا سَابِقُونَ They are the ones who are truly hastening to the good and they are the ones who are reaching it. The ones who we're going to believe, inshallah ta'ala, are the ones who are hastening to good, running to good, is that these are the qualities that they come with. They're scared. They believe in the verse of their Lord. They don't associate partners with Allah wa ta'ala. They come with that which they come with whilst their hearts are trembling. And they know that they're going to return to their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wa ta'ala, he said in the Quran, in another verse, he said, Ya Bani Israel, adkunu ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum. وَأَوْفُوا بِعَهْدِي أُوْفِي بِعَهْدِكُمْ وَإِيَّا يَفَرْحَبُونَ Allah says, Ya Bani Israel, the children of Ya'qub. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَتِيَ الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ Remember the blessings which I have bestowed upon you. وَأَوْفُوا بِعَهْدِي Fulfill the covenant. أُوْفِي بِعَهْدِكُمْ I will fulfill it for you. I will fulfill my promises I made for you. 
وإياي أن فيا مي فرهبون وإياي فرهبون فيا مي be scared of me the last part is what I went from the ayah the way Allah commanded them وإياي فرهبون فيا مي be scared of me in another ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وآمنوا بما أنزلت مصدقا لما معكم ولا تكونوا أول كافر به ولا تشتروا بآياتي ثمنا قليلا وإياي فاتقون in this ayah Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he says وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا do not sell the verses of Allah ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا for a short small price وَإِيَّايَ فَاتَّقُونَ and be conscious of me fear me Allahu Akbar both verses وَإِيَّايَ فَرْحَبُونَ وَإِيَّايَ فَاتَّقُونَ those are the qualities that we need to come with in another ayah Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is very explicit and he says وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا لا تجزي نفس عن نفس شيئا ولا يقبل منها شفاعة ولا يؤخذ منها عدل ولا هم ينصرون الله تبارك وتعالى he says be scared of a day be conscious of a day لا تجزي نفس عن نفس شيئا no one is going to help you that day the people that today love you don't necessarily uh, will not necessarily be your aid and support you're alone that day you're by yourself to be honest لا تجزي نفس عن نفس شيئا No one can help you Your children are not going to help you Your parents are not going to help you Your wife is not going to help you No one's going to help you that day وَلَا يُقْبَلُ مِنْهَا شَفَاعَ Intercession that day is not permitted And this is the type of intercession Which is negated There are two types of intercession There's شَفَاعَ مُثْبَتَةَ And there's also شَفَاعَ مَنْفِيَةَ This شَفَاعَ is the one that Allah Taala will not accept which is the shafa'ah that is done by someone who Allah doesn't want for it, them to do it. And he's doing it for someone Allah doesn't want, doesn't, doesn't want it to be done for. This is the shafa'ah which is not accepted. Allah then says, وَلَا يُؤْخَذُ مِنْهَا عَدْلٌ وَلَا هُمْ يُنصَرُونَ This a beginning of the ayah, which is وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمَا To be scared of that day. This quality of fearing and having hope is very vital in our religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in another ayah, فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ Don't be scared of them, Allah says. وَاخْشَوْنِي Be scared of me. وَلِأُتِمَّ نِعْمَتِي عَلَيْكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ So I can complete my blessings and favors onto you, and I can guide you on the straight path, Allah says. Don't be scared of anyone who threatens you, who scares you, be scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be a slave of Allah. فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ Don't be scared of them. وَاخْشَوْنِي Be scared of me. Allah is the one who's worthy of being feared. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going to stop there inshaAllah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't wanna miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.